Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in the previous video we have learned how we can draw butterflies in different different angle, different different perspective. So if you want to refer to this particular video you can get a link into the description section and learn how you can draw these butterflies. For today's painting I am using 320 gsm cold pressed watercolor sheet and I have already created my butterfly composition or butterflies in different different angle to paint so let's start with the first one without wasting any time so you can either use wet on wet having clear water to wet in your uh, wings area but as these butterflies are quite small you can avoid this particular step and directly use colors but just to show you i'm using uh, water first to wet in the area and then I'm using colors so I'm using pink and purple color for the base so I'm applying pink color throughout the upper wing except the inner corner and for the inner corner I'm using purple color because my sheet is damp not too wet not too dry I can easily mix these two color And uh, with the help of blue color, I'm adding a little bit hint in the upper corner for both the wings. I'm going to repeat the same thing for both the wings. And first I'm applying water just to wet in the area and then applying these colors into it. But as our areas are quite small, you can avoid applying water and directly you can use color which I am going to show you for the lower wings. So I am repeating the same thing, apply pink color for the inner corners, I am applying purple color and little bit of blue around the edges of the upper wing. Now I am not wetting uh, with the water but I am wetting with the help of watery consistency of color. So I am using the same pink shade which I have used in the, for the upper wings but this time I am using directly color. This is watery consistency having pink color into it and applying purple color because pink and purple goes really well with each other so you can just glaze purple color about to the pink likewise you can paint all the four wings now when your sheet is about to dry or in your dry sheet you can create lines like this with the help of pink color itself if your sheet is wet you cannot do these things so do it when your sheet is about to dry or almost dried so this one is quite wet so that's why the lines are not visible either you can use other color or you can wait until it gets dried now for the edges of the lower wings i'm using black color uh, just to outline the structure you can do all these things with the help of pen also but i'm doing it with the help of watercolor itself using tip of my brush but i'm going to show you how we can do these things easily with the help of pen as well in the later butterflies adding little bit of black patches around the blue area and outlining the structure with the help of black color you can add body of the butterfly with the help of black color itself i'm not spending too much time creating bodies antenna and legs i'm simply creating these kind of things not thinking too much around the body part and we are done with the first one now for the second one i want to keep it black and white so as our sheet is white we need to use a little bit of gray shade for the white area so i have mixed blue and brown color together to get gray shade this is also very light gray shade and watery in consistency and i am applying this color for all the four wings 
make sure your wings are wet and enough because now i am going to use black color and i need my sheet to be wet or at least damp for that matter and then around the corner or edges i'm adding this black patches and i want this color to bleed a little bit so that we will get a little velvety texture uh, into the wings now i'm creating a big black dot just to make a design you can use any design whatever you like to i'm repeating the same thing for lower wings as well this time i'm creating the black patches around the edges and inner corner create some black lines using the same black color which we have used in the edges i'm just using those colors to create lines now for the uh, these two wings we are seeing the back of the wings so it does not necessary to create same thing uh, for these two wings as well i am wetting the area and uh, adding little bit of black patches here and there not thinking too much and just creating some pattern of black and white in it we are going to finish this one later with the help of pen meanwhile you can create body antenna and legs opposite l kind of shape four legs are needed okay now let's move to the third one so for the third one i'm using blue color for the upper wings and yellow and red color for the lower wings so i am filling the whole area with the help of blue color so i'm applying blue color only on the upper wings you can keep the bigger uh, wings little dark in shade because we are seeing the back of the wings so you can keep this two wings little less brighter as compared to the front wings but if you are going to keep it same it's also fine not to worry about these things now fill the lower wings with the help of yellow color and while my sheet is wet i'm going to add little bit of red color around the edges for both the lower wings now with the help of clean water i'm just trying to blend the color a little bit so that we will not get any hard edges blending color with the help of clean water and glazing a light red shade around the yellow color don't overdo this we need to see yellow color as well We are done with the basic colors. Let it dry for some time. Uh, meanwhile, we can paint body, antenna, legs, all those things until it is getting dry. Instead of using black color, I'm using black gel pen. Make sure your wings are absolutely dried, and then you do these things with the help of pen. Otherwise, you will not. able to uh, mark things if your sheet is still wet i'm adding round round patches around the upper corner 
and filling the rest of the areas with the help of black color itself you can do all these things with the help of watercolor but as the section is quite small i prefer to use black color pen now you can create fine lines in rest of the wings both upper and lower easy way to finish all these butterflies and we can repeat the same thing for this particular one as well i'm creating a little bit of uh, outlining for the uh, left wings we're done with these three now let's paint the rest two i'm keeping the fourth one quite simple so i'm applying yellow color for all the four wings and uh, when my sheet is wet i'm adding a little bit of orange color around the corner and the edges i'm going to repeat this for uh, rest two wings as well keeping it very simple even if you are a beginner you can paint all these butterfly easily just make sure uh, when your sheet needs to be wet and when your sheet needs to be dry so let's do the same thing for rest two wings as well applying yellow color and orange color around the edges now let it dry for some time we are going to finish uh, the wings later meanwhile you can draw body and antenna legs all those things like we did for the rest of the other butterflies as well and uh, meanwhile it is trying create the fifth one with the help of pink color so i'm going to apply pink color for all the four wings so apply pink color in all the four wings i'm keeping the back wings little lighter as compared to the front wing so that's the only difference and meanwhile this one is also drying you can draw rest other things like we did for other butterflies as well likewise instead of black color we have used black pen this time inst instead of using white watercolor i'm using acrylic color you can use gouache color as well because creating the white patches into watercolor is quite difficult with the help of watercolor so i'm using acrylic color for that matter but uh, you can use uh, for the white patches you can use uh, masking fluid as well if you want to but the area is quite small so that's why i don't want to do all these things so i'm just using acrylic color around the lower wings edges and creating white patches for the upper wings and creating few lines in between and for the yellow butterfly i'm using black pen to create a um, round round pattern like we did for the third one same ways i'm doing with uh, the help of black color so that we can see the yellow patches uh, in that particular area and then outlining all the wings with the help of uh, black color itself using pen keeping it quite simple not nothing fancy in here outlining the white patches with the help of black color and wings so that we can see the white area uh, easily i'm doing all these things with the help of black pen you can use black watercolor as well totally up to you how comfortable you are doing all these things with the help of watercolor or pen totally up to you and then with the help of bright yellow color i am adding lines into it this might not be visible in the video but i can see these things clearly and 
we are done with all the five butterflies having different angles do let me know if you guys have any feedback for me and thank you so much for watching